What's up guys, Shane here with Tech 3D Printing, and I'm back. Vacation was great, let's do a vlog and catch up on some stuff. So, hey guys, I'm back. So, we got some mail that came in while I was gone, vacation, time off. You guys saw a couple updates while I was off. I tried to post things, at least one per week, I had kind of queued them up just so they could be, you know, some kind of content coming to you. But now we're gonna get back on schedule and since today's Wednesday, it's vlog time. Let's dig in and see what we got. So first thing up here is a new board for my GTEC printer. So, like an idiot, if you'd follow me on Facebook, I had posted in the GTEC group and in the 3D printer group and I was trying to figure out what was wrong when I was trying to print the, the what was it, the uh, Maker Geeks wax filament. And I didn't realize this, but I was actually hitting the minimum temp because I was printing at like 135. Minimum temp was like 145 by default in the Marlin for the GTEC. So I was like, crap, I have a bad board. And I ordered another one. And it came. And since it was an eBay thing, there wasn't really any returning it. So, I mean, for 24, was it 25, $30 shipped? I mean, I'll have a spare now if something does happen to it, but now we have one. Kind of live and learn with that one. And I've said it before, I'm a complete klutz when it comes to working on the 3D printers, especially when they're running and I'm trying to adjust things, and I keep breaking these goofy 40 millimeter fans. So I bought a bag of them. There's, I don't know, eight or 10 in here. Bought a whole bunch of them. They were a dollar a piece on eBay from China, Shenzhen, China. So I figured, well, why not? They're, I don't really care if they're that loud because I'm usually not here, and I'm definitely not printing when I'm recording, but I'm not usually here when I'm printing. I'll set the print up and I'll go. But this will definitely save me in the long run from having a you know this horrible buzzing sound because the vibrations are just going crazy. And I also told you I had broken my E3DV6 fan, so I went back on Phyllis Struder, bought two more fans for that, and just to be safe, I bought another one of the shrouds in case I was to snap it. Uh, one time I bought these they don't come with screws so you have to reuse the ones you have so those are definitely things you don't want to lose Off me with this box it's maker box so this is gonna be an upcoming video this is the September box and we'll be doing this soon a lot of people talk about especially in the Forge Tech group how they like printing on mirror tiles um, personally I don't like mirror tiles because you guys know I you know do the 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 time lapses and I can't really do a time lapse with the mirror tiles just because it's so much reflection. I would have to try and set up some crazy lighting for the FT5 and I definitely don't have the budget for that. So that's just out of the question. But I figured, you know what, I'm going to buy them and I'm going to use them for the build services that I get. So I got build tack and I have build tack over here on one of my spare glass beds and I have the other glass bed on now. So I was like, well, at least I can cover those and keep my solid glass bed because I like printing on that. I think it's straight enough, but people say that the mirror is straighter, flatter I should say, than glass is because of the tolerances. In order to get a perfect mirrored reflection, it has to be perfectly flat. So $10, it's heavy. At Home Depot, 10 bucks, you get six of these. So these are, oops, these are obviously for the FT5 you could order smaller ones or I could cut these down to fit the GTEC. I don't think it's needed because I'm quite happy with glass on that, but we'll give this a shot. Like I said, we're going to use this for all the build surfaces that I'm getting in and I already have two here to get. I have some more coming soon, so these are becoming real handy. So you got a cable here. This is a USB to, I believe it's XLR. Is that what it is? Yeah. Um, and this is for, it says karaoke singing machine, but no, this is for this condenser mic, so I can run it directly into my computer using the cable that came with it, which is the XLR to the 3.5 millimeter uh, cable, or plug, I should say. Uh, didn't work. Don't know why. I don't know if it's a Windows 10 thing. I went on to Newer's website to try and figure out what the issue was. No one had any suggestions there, but they all were using this, so we picked this up. I'm gonna try it out again. I'm trying to do. I want to do a series here soon on me just running through prints that I'm gonna do, like the oddball prints I do. Like I'm working on pumpkins right now for Halloween. I plan on giving them out to all the kids here. So I would like kind of run through settings with you just so that you could see how I do it and how I run Simplify 3D because a lot of questions come from using that software. So hopefully this works. We'll try it out later. Got a condenser mic. This one's mainly gonna be used for my GoPro. So. I'll probably be doing a little more vlogging with the GoPro eventually, 
or when I'm going to do like my very first FT5 overview, which you know, looking back how I'm doing things now and how I was doing it then, it's really bad. So this would have been nice to have, so I could clip it on my neck and be able to go around and show you, you know, what I'm talking about, and it'd be a little more better audio. So that's all this is for, is just get better audio out of my GoPro. Uh, I, I can also use it with uh, my camera. It has a nice long uh, cable on it. I believe this one is six or 10 foot that comes with it, so it should be decent. So filament is a big thing that I got in while I was gone. Uh, a few that I ordered, a few that were sent to me, a few that I won. So let's see what they all are. So here, the first one is Gizmo Dorks, and this is their blue PLA. Uh, they, I contacted them. They were one of some of the first ones that I contacted when I stood up the channel saying, hey, I'm starting out. I'd like to send me some filament. They're a smaller company, they tell me. So they said, they can't send you a roll, but I'll give you 40% discount on Amazon. It's like, okay, you know, I mean, who am I to argue starting out? Uh, if I was more established, like maybe like Joel, uh, I definitely wouldn't be paying for it, but I'm try still trying to build content for the channel, so I figured, well, I'll buy this one, 40% discount, you know, can't snuff at that. So this is a very nice blue, and we'll have a review on this in the future. Next one's from Philibot, and they saw my MakerBox review, and they said, hey, we liked it. Would you like a full roll? I said, yes. Sticker. So they sent me a full roll of their Pet G Plus, and I believe this is a 0.75 kilogram or uh, yeah I think it's 0.75 kilogram they don't sell it in a full kilogram roll uh, I have to double check that but this is their clear so I, I hope to do some nice vases with this um, and that'll be coming up now I'm probably not going to do a review but I'm going to do prints with this again like when I show my prints I'm going to show off using some of this this printed really well and I really like it okay this next roll I bought off Amazon because it was like stupid cheap I think it was sub 12 or 13 dollars something like that uh, this is Tech Orbits PLA and it's a nice green color, so I figured, well, I'll do a review on this. I want to try, I want to try and pick up one cheap roll, or one roll, I should say, per month. Uh, I've still got the Patreon out there if you guys want to help out with that, but I plan on picking up at least one new roll a month on my own to see and do, you know, review on it, print with it, see how it does, and let you know if it's any good. So, a review on this later. Okay, this next one is something that I won, I guess. Um, so if you're not familiar with a website called Filament Directory, I'll put a link somewhere here, either up top or down, or definitely be in the description, but might be up here on the screen somewhere. They send out a newsletter uh, every so often. I know there's a monthly, there might even be a weekly. I don't know, I get them all the time, so I kind of get desensitized to how often it comes when I read them. And they had said, hey, we have so many rolls, a uh, sample of this filament, as soon as you get the newsletter, send us an email and we'll get you on there. So I got it, and this is NFL 3D's filament, and this is a a white, and it is 100 to 150 grams. So that's a decent size, you know, uh, roll. It's actually like a mini roll. Like the roll is only about yay big, uh, maybe you know just over a th you know two thirds the size of the box, which is interesting. So I'm gonna do a review on this, but it came with some some cool you know swag here with it, I guess, just some paperwork. So it tells you about the products they have, innovations, contact information, premium filament for professionals, and a product portfolio. So this actually lays out all their different PLAs, ABSs, SPCs, Pro One, some R and D stuff, Flex 60, Flex 45, PET. I mean, all kinds of different ones that they have. Um, their product numbers, the colors of them, and all the, the SKUs. So if you wanted to look them up, you know, uh, if you're going to buy in bulk, this seems more like a like an actual like professional type of. It says professional, but you know, I mean, like you're using it to build a lot of things to sell, and I'm just doing this for fun. So we'll try this out one day soon. So this last filament is Inland. So I got their blue PLA. This one I'm going to print with. And I wanted to print, since I got the big Pikachu, Squirtle is by far my favorite. I want to print a big Squirtle. And since Pikachu came out so well, we're going to do Squirtle with this one, the low poly version. I like the low poly version. Some people don't like, oh, low poly, blah. But I'm like, it looks cool to me. So we're going to do a low poly version of Squirtle on this. And that'll be a future time lapse video, uh, hopefully um, in the near future, but probably be a couple weeks away for this. But keep inland in mind. Coming up soon. All right, last few things I got. So when I did the Hatchbox review, which I'll link up here, so I'm talking about it. I talked, I think I talked about it in there, or another vlog, either way, that is up there. I talked about wanting to do a video on finishing wood. So, 
what I did is I picked up some uh, what's this one this is a special walnut stain and I had polyurethane but the awesome German security guys decided to pull it out of my checked bag so don't have that anymore got to find a way to get stained again um, but I wanted to be able to sand down you know a wand or something and see would wood stain work um, I'm also going to sand it down and I just have some matte clear enamel that I'm going to spray on it in lieu of the polyurethane for now but I am going to get real polyurethane and see just how it does I mean I don't know how it's going to react I'm um, Rust-Oleum should work um, I did have actually that's what the other thing so I, they took out two things out of my bag and I couldn't remember what it was it was a polyurethane and I actually had this is the matte clear enamel. I had a gloss enamel. That's what they took out. They took that one out. And that was a Rust-Oleum and there was a Krylon. So they took out two. There was a Krylon one as well because I know Krylon is good for plastics. Rust-Oleum, I wasn't sure. So that's kind of why I'm trying it out, see how it would go. Um, but that's there. So hopefully we'll be able to get to that here in the near future. Uh, but I have to get more printings with the wood. Uh, I still have to do the Foxmart review will finish that one. I'm still I want to print one or two more things with it uh, It's been up and down it prints well, but not so much and um, And I just have to play with the settings a little bit more to get better on that And I want to print more with the hatchbox wood PLA because that is just fantastic to print with and uh, I already uh, A friend asked for my wife's Luna Lovegood one So I gave we gave that to her and I have to print another one for my wife But I'm gonna print out some more just for their fun and I want to do the whole Harry Potter line So that's gonna be coming up later all right, so the last thing here is a big box. So here it is. Ah, it is a Cube 3 3D printer. So I don't know if you know this, but Cube 3D no longer makes the Cube 3. So everyone that had them in stock went online and on eBay, and they are just selling them for nothing. And I mean like sub $100 you can get these. So of course I had to pick one up. You know, don't tell my wife. Shh. So we got that, and I wanted to add another printer because I have the Delta. It's still here on the table, actually. And I'm going to be doing, after this, I'm going to probably clean up some more and then prep. And I'm going to start doing the build video for this, the part one. I don't know how many parts are going to be, but part one is going to be just the frame. But I want to get a few more printers in here so that I can get the filaments rolling because I have six, seven, uh, about ten filaments now that I have to print with and test out and only having two printers is getting really, really tight to do that. So we're going to take care of that and we'll do a video on this soon, we'll do this build. A lot of stuff coming up, hope you guys stay tuned. So one other thing let's talk about now. So I looked at YouTube today and when I left three weeks ago, I had just surpassed like 150 subscribers. I looked today, we're at 260 subscribers, so we're almost at 300, we're getting there. I just passed 10,000 views of my videos. 10,000 views is like, I honestly never thought I would even get that many. I'm, I'm getting two to 300 views per day now. I'm getting two to five subscribers per day. So things are really picking up now and this is really, really good stuff. And I'm just, my, you know, my mind is blown. So thank you guys that have been watching me. Thanks to all the new people out there it's it's a great ride so far. I'm enjoying making this content. I hope you guys are enjoying watching it. So I'm gonna do my plug here for Patreon. Um, if you enjoy what I do on the channel, you know you can go to Patreon and check it out. I'm gonna work on a video here super soon. Hopefully in the next two or three weeks, I'm gonna do a Patreon only video, uh, just uh, kind of what I'm doing, just have a welcome video because I, I stood it up and I wrote a little bit in there, but not much yet. So my goal is thirty dollars a month right now, and that's going to help me. F that's going to help fund the filament that I'm buying every month. And you know, you guys can help do that. Doesn't send a dollar my way, nothing. Ten dollars, five dollars, doesn't matter. But if you like what I'm doing and you want to help me out, please do so. So guys, thanks for watching. I know I really appreciate it. I hope I've gotten you up to date. You see all the new things that are be coming out here real soon. So if you like this video, give it a like, you know, subscribe to my channel down below if you're not already. I already talked about Patreon, so please, if you want to support my channel, send a dollar my way. I'd greatly appreciate it. Links will be down below and up above. And until next time, happy printing.